Hey folks, my name is Ricky. I'm a recycled IC tray. Recycling of IC trays through R. Mitchell generates substantial revenue for circuit board assemblers. Tray recycling also prevents thousands of tons of valuable plastic from being wasted in landfills. R. Mitchell has the collection network and processing facilities to properly recycle the empty trays from your production line. Follow me to see how it's done. Let's go! Before recycling, I was molded by a tray manufacturer such as ITW, Peak, Daewon, or Shinon. Hello world! A brand new IC tray is born! I was neatly stacked and packed with other trays for delivery to a semiconductor factory like Intel, NEC, Toshiba, or Samsung. Upon arrival, I was promptly loaded full of chips. I stepped forth on my assignment to provide safe travel for ICs to circuit board assemblers all over the world. I love my job. After a smooth landing at the production line of an assembly house, my precious cargo was unloaded piece by piece until each chip was securely mounted on a board. Unfortunately, my work was complete and I was empty. Cast aside like garbage, landfill seemed to be my destiny. Currently, trays from your facility are probably being dumped or mixed with other plastic packing materials. I see trays are different and must be procured separately. Most trays are molded from unique thermal plastic compounds such as PPE, MPPO, or MPSU. Other plastic carriers are made of less expensive plastics like ABS, PP, or PS, which are universally recyclable. However, PPE, MPPO, and MPSU are more difficult to recycle because of their combination of heat deflection and anti-static properties. These characteristics are specifically required for IC trays. Typical scrap collectors cannot process IC trays according to reuse standards, nor can they properly recycle such specialized materials. Luckily, an elaborate network exists for global collection and reuse of empty IC trays. Close coordination between R. Mitchell, leading chip makers, and over 1,500 board assemblers worldwide has extended the longevity of IC trays. R. Mitchell collects an average of 7.5 million trays per month. Little did I know, my life had just begun. I was reunited with trays just like me during R. Mitchell's sorting process. Every tray is separated according to brand name, part number, bake temperature, and material type. R. Mitchell sorts over 250,000 trays per day. After sorting, some trays have a chance to carry new chips again. However, we must pass a thorough examination first. Every day, more than 75,000 usable trays are checked for damage, contamination, and dimension defects by R. Mitchell's highly trained quality control inspectors. Since I'm in such great condition, I've made several round trips, continuously looping from semiconductor factories to circuit board assembly houses to R. Mitchell and so on. On the other hand, many trays cannot pass the inspection process and some become obsolete. Fortunately, R. Mitchell also has the technology to recycle IC tray material. Unusable trays of the same chemical composition are crushed, blended with additives, and extruded into pellets. Tray molders are supplied with reprocessed pellet compounds that is as good as virgin. Molding new trays from recycled material contributes greatly to waste reduction and saving the Earth's resources. The positive environmental impact of total IC tray recycling is immeasurable. IC tray recycling will dramatically affect the future of the high-tech industry. Semiconductor manufacturers are responsible for the waste they create and need practical solutions. Acknowledge your role. Receive a financial benefit. Have a positive impact on the environment. And support your chip suppliers who have selected R. Mitchell as their global IC tray recycler. Obviously, our Mitchell knows how to maximize the use of an IC tray. Help us find our way out of the waste stream through proper and efficient handling by our Mitchell. Every tray makes a difference. The world is depending on it. Goodbye.